Hello everyone, welcome to Course Creel. In last video, we have learned about welding defects. So we have discussed about the introduction of welding defects. So welding defects are mainly considered as the irregularity and imperfection in weld metal due to wrong welding process, due to wrong welding pattern. If the weld metal does not fall under the acceptance criteria like proper shape and size, if the weld metal have inadequate quality, so that particular weld or uh, the weld joint is considered under welding defect. So we have learned basic introduction of welding defects in last lesson. In this video, we are going to discuss about all type of welding defects, whether it is geometric, metallurgical or the defect with inadequate bonding. So each and every type of defect we are going to learn here thoroughly. So let's start. So before going to start, Press the like button if you like the video. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, subscribe it immediately and you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their betterment and press the bell icon so you'll get all the notifications about the activities of channel. So let's begin the discussion of different types of welding defects. So as I have said, the welding defects are mainly two types 2d defects that is called planar defects and 3d defects that is called voluminar defects and these 2d and 3d defects are further categorized in three categories and these categories are geometric defects metallurgical defects and defects involving inadequate bonding so here we are going to learn all three types or three main categories of welding defects so I am going to start with the defects involving inadequate bonding. So the first category is defect involving inadequate bonding. So in this category, we consider a number of defects like lack of fusion, incomplete penetration, slag inclusion, oxide film inclusion, tungsten inclusion, etc. So here I am going to discuss one by one about these types of defects. So let's start with lack of fusion. So lack of fusion is defined as lack of complete melting. If the weld metal is not melt completely, so that is considered as lack of fusion. And it mainly occur between weld metal and base metal or between two layers of weld metal. So lack of fusion is related to melting of the weld metal. The main reason of lack of fusions are incorrect position of electrode, low melting current and uh, uh, improper joint positions, improper design and improper welding speed. So these are the main reasons for the lack of fusion. So we need to take care of these points while welding. The next type of welding defect is incomplete penetration. When weld metal does not reach the root of the joint or the bottommost point of the welding joint, so that is considered as incomplete penetration. So if we want to avoid this particular welding defect or incomplete penetration, so the weld metal should reach the root of the joint. It should be completely filled with the weld metal. So this is called incomplete penetration. And it can cause because of incorrect joint design, incorrect electrode size, improper welding parameters, improper polarity, etc. So these are the main reasons for the incomplete penetration. And if we want to avoid incomplete penetration, we need to take care of these points. The next type of defect is slag inclusion. So it mainly happened because of entrapment of non-metallic solids and oxides in weld metal or between weld metal and base metal. And this particular defect can only happen because of steering action of arc. And because of this, the slag forced down to weld metal and it solidified during the cooling inside the weld. So the main reason of slag inclusion is the steering action of the arc when the welding is performed and it is mainly happened because of the entrapment of non-metallic solids and the oxide in the weld metal. Preheating, proper penetration of groove, control rate of solidification can reduce the slag inclusion. So if we want to avoid slag inclusion, we need to take care of these points like preheating, proper penetration of groove and control rate of solidification. The next defect is oxide film formation. 
सो ऑक्साइड फिल्म फॉर्मेशन मेनली हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ इम्प्रॉपर शील्डिंग ऑफ वेल्ड मेटल एंड वेल्ड कूल इफ वी वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड ऑक्साइड फिल्म फॉर्मेशन सो वी शुड प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर शील्डिंग और प्रॉपर प्रोटेक्शन टू द वेल्ड मेटल एंड वेल्ड कूल विद द हेल्प ऑफ शील्डिंग गैसेस एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ फ्लक्स The next effect is tungsten inclusion. So tungsten inclusion mainly happen where we use tungsten electrode, and in this condition, the tungsten electrode melt and it solidify with the weld. And this particular type of defect does not considered harmful unless size and amount become excessive. So this was all about the defects involving inadequate bonding. Now next category is metallurgical defects. So in metallurgical defects. the defects we consider as crack porosity arc strike embrittlement structural notches etc so one by one i am going to discuss about these type of metallurgical defects so the first type of metallurgical welding defect is crack crack is most common type of welding defects in the weld metal so cracks are considered as linear ruptures in metal because of residual stresses now what is the meaning of residual stresses so residual stresses are considered as the stresses that are remain in object especially in welded component even in the absence of external loading or in the absence of thermal gradients so because of residual stresses the cracks may develop in the weld metal and uh, these stresses mainly develop in the weld metal because of non uniform heating and non uniform cooling in welding it is mainly developed because of non uniform heating and non uniform cooling and the main reason of development of cracks are high percentage of carbon and high percentage of sulfur uh, apart from that if we are not performing any kind of preheating or the proper amount of preheating and uh, also because of the presence of moisture the crack may develop in the weld metal while performing welding cracks can be transverse type or it can be longitudinal type so the longitudinal we consider as along the length and the uh, transverse we consider perpendicular to the length so according to the position of the cracks we can discriminate between the longitudinal and transverse type of cracks there are major types of crack which we are going to discuss here these type of cracks are hot cracking cold cracking micro fissuring base metal cracking and crater cracking etc so these type of major cracks we are going to discuss here so let's start with the hot cracks so hot cracks are considered as intergranular and it mainly occur at elevated temperature during cooling and solidifying weld metal now next is cold cracks so cold cracks are mainly happen because of hydrogen trapped in the weld or weld metal as well as in heat affected zone so the cold cracks mainly start in heat affected zone and uh, the main reasons of cold cracks are increase in carbon percentage in weld metal and uh, manganese content in weld metal uh, so this per this particular increase in percentage of carbon and manganese also form cold cracking now next is micro fissuring so micro fissuring are very fine fissures or very fine cracks it mainly occur because of hot and cold cracking the next is base metal cracking so to understand base metal cracking you need to know about different material properties as well as different concepts related to metallurgy like our iron carbon diagram etc so uh, this base metal cracking if we define so it is associated with a lack of ductility in heat affected zone so you should know about the ductility so the lack of ductility is the main reason of base metal cracking and it mainly happen because of high cooling rate which leads to martensite formation so this is about the base metal cracking now next is crater cracking or crater cracks 
so crater cracks mainly appear in the form of circular surface with depression so if you see any kind of circular surface with depression in the weld metal so that is called the crater cracks and it mainly happen when welders stop welding prior to finishing a pass so this is the main reason so if we want to avoid this so the welder should concentrate on the timing of the welding he should complete a weld pass in the defined time only so this was all about the cracks now the next type of metallurgical defect is porosity so have you ever seen different types of holes in the weld metal after welding so these holes are known as porosity or these holes are considered as the welding defect in the form of porosity so the porosity is also known as blow holes or air pockets in the weld metal and it is mainly developed because of the entrapment of the gases in the weld metal and another reasons are uh, it may be formed because of poor quality electrode like rusted electrode etc and it may happen because of improper shielding or improper protection of shielded gases uh, sudden cooling etc so there are various reasons uh, which can form porosity in the weld metal and porosity if you want to detect it so it can be easily detected by the radiography and the penetration test now next type of metallurgical defect is arc strike so arc strike mainly represent as the localized heat affected zone which is caused by the arc so here the variation of arc is the main reason of the arc strike now next is embrittlement so here embrittlement is representing the brittle nature of the weld joint and it mainly occur because of high cooling rate and it mainly happen in the material with high carbon percentage now next type of metallurgical defect is structural notches so structural notches we can define as the grain coarsening so because of variation of heat input or uh, heat input into the material so the material experienced localized grain coarsening which can considered as the structural notches so this was all about the metallurgical defects now next come to the geometric defects so geometric defects we can define as undercut excess reinforcement excess penetration distortion etc so one by one i am going to explain here about these types of geometric defects so geometric defects is mainly associated with the geometry of the weld metal so the first type of geometric defect is undercut so undercut is defined as depression or notches in the base metal which is adjacent to the toe of the weld so here you need to concentrate on the particular area toe of the weld the base metal which is adjacent to the toe of the weld so if you have seen any kind of depression or any kind of notches in base metal and which should be adjacent to the toe of the weld that is defined as the undercut and this undercut is defined as the geometric defects and the main reason of these kind of defect is the fatigue cracks Uh, if we want to avoid undercut so we should concentrate on few points like correct current size good quality electrode and uh, the electrode manipulation so if we are having current uh, size or proper uh, current size or correct current size range and uh, good quality electrode and its manipulation so we can avoid undercut now the next type of geometric defect is excess reinforcement so excess reinforcement is mainly associated with the excess amount of weld metal so if the metal on the face of the weld is in excess amount so it is considered as the excess reinforcement and necessary action must be uh, taken by the welder to avoid this particular type of defect so necessary care must be taken to avoid it now next type of geometric defect is excess penetration so excess penetration we can define as uh, in the form of burn and opening at the root of the weld so when burn and opening found at the root of the weld so it is known as excess penetration and it may cause serious defects 
in basically in tubular weld so wherever we are welding tubes or wherever we are forming tubular weld so we need to take care of excess penetration and it can form uh, sharp notches also it mainly happen because of excess current and low travel speed and uh, because of this if we uh, are considering excess current and low travel speed while welding so it can form sharp notches and uh, it can affect the fatigue strength also now the next type of geometric defect is distortion so distortion is mainly associated with the shape and size of the weld joint so due to variable heating and cooling if we are seeing any kind of deviation in the desired shape and size of the weld joint so it is known as distortion so distortion is mainly associated with the deviation in the desired shape and size in the weld joint and it mainly cause unequal uh, expansion and contraction of the weld or the weld joint and the amount of distortion mainly varies it depends on the change in properties weld configuration as well as thickness of the weld uh, material or the base metal uh, residual stresses can also uh, it can cause the distortion so residual stresses is one of the reason for the distortions residual stresses i have explained earlier and the distortion can be controlled by proper weld design as well as uh, you by using proper weld procedure so this was all about the geometric defects so this was all about different types of welding defects so hope you understood all the concepts or uh, these concepts are beneficial for you for your curriculum exams for your competitive exams like gate esc psus etc so with the help of this video you can understand different types of welding defects and you can use this knowledge when you are performing welding or when you are doing any kind of practicals of welding during your curriculum uh, or during your uh, practical sessions thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed the channel yet subscribe it immediately and you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their benefit for the purpose of curriculum exams and for the purpose of competitive exams like gate esc psu etc press the bell icon so you will get all the uh, notifications about the activities of channel or uh, about the videos uh, of the channel so thank you so much see you in next class